Hello everyone. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss that is the directed evolution of proteins. We are all aware of the vast potential of proteins and their crucial role in numerous biological processes. However, what if I told you that we can engineer proteins with entirely new functions to tackle the real world problems? So that's exactly what we will explore in today's video. We will delve into the concept of directed evolution, its principles, methodologies and some remarkable applications. So let's uh, get right into it. So what is directed evolution? Directed evolution is a powerful technique that mimics natural evolution in the laboratory to enhance or alter the properties of proteins. So it involves introducing mutations into the genetic material, encoding a protein and selecting or screening for variants that exhibit the desired traits. So basically we are introducing um, mutations naturally and screening them for its uh, varied performance or the desired traits. Directed evolution enables us to harness the vast diversity of protein sequences and explore functional landscapes beyond what is exists in the nature. So this will improve the proteins and the method is through natural selection and this uh, technique allows us to overcome the limitations of traditional protein engineering approaches by tapping into the power of evolution itself. So the directed evolution has its uh, roots in the pioneering work of uh, Francis Arnold and her colleagues in the 1990s who were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2018 for their contribution to the field. Since then, directed evolution has become a widely used and influential technique in the protein engineering. So that is the background of uh, directed evolution. And now let's see the different steps involved in the directed evolution. The key steps of directed evolution are uh, generating diversity, selection and uh, screening and the iterative cycles. So genera uh, generating diversity, uh, the first technique uh, for generating the diversity is by mutagenesis techniques. Directed evolution begins with the introduction of genetic variation or mutation in the gene encoding the target protein. And this can be achieved through various methods such as uh, random or site directed mutagenesis, DNA shuffling, error prone PCR or by recombination. And these techniques, the role of these techniques to introduce changes in the DNA sequence that correspond to the change in protein sequencing. So genetic diversity is creating uh, is created by uh, doing a technique called the mutagenesis. And this is achieved through site directed mutagenesis and other error prone PCR or other methods. The other option is to have a synthetic DNA libraries. To explore a broader SQL space, researchers can create libraries containing vast number of protein variants. And these libraries can be generated by synthesizing DNA fragments with uh, random or desired mutations. And by screening or selecting these libraries, research can discover variants with improved desired functions. So mutagenesis uh, can be created or the diversity can be created by using different uh, mutagenesis techniques or by creating a synthetic DNA library. So coming to the uh, selection and screening, uh, it can be done by assay design and high throughput techniques. To identify protein variants with the desired traits, a suitable assays or experimental system need to be first designed. So this assays should correlate with the specific function or property of interest. For example, if the goal is to enhance the enzyme activity, an enzyme measuring enzyme activity should be employed to understand the effect of enzyme activity improvement or the trait improvement of that particular enzyme. So first step is the assay design. And uh, next is the high, high throughput screening technique. To accelerate the screening process, high throughput techniques are used because we are measuring large number of changes in the in the gene mutations or in the protein engineering level or desired protein function. So these techniques involve uh, automating the assays and screening process and which often uh, done using uh, robotic uh, liquid handling system and the high, uh, high throughput uh, uh, screening enables the examination of large number of protein variant in a relatively short time increasing the chance of finding improved desired function. So the high throughput systems are uh, robotic liquid hand done by robotic liquid handling system and a large number of uh, samples can be screened or the or the protein variants can be screened by using these methods third point is the iterative cycles that is um, uh, recapitulating the uh, natural selection directed evolution mimics the process of uh, 
natural selection by subjecting the protein variants to iterative cycles of mutation selection and amplification and the selected variants from one cycle become the starting point for the next cycle and this leading to a gradual improvement of alteration of the protein properties so what it does is initially we generate certain mutations and it is subjected to another round of uh, mutagenesis or diversification so existing uh, changes along with that new changes will also occur so this actually improves by cycle by cycle uh, through this iterative cycles research has uh, explored the sequence and functional space of proteins navigating a vast landscape of possibilities and this exploration allows to discover protein variants with improved stability altered substrate specificity enhanced catalytic activity and other desired functions so this is how the uh, protein variants are created coming to the uh, applications of directed evolution there are many applications we will discuss few of them uh, in this video one is the enzyme engineering uh, second is the uh, protein therapeutics and uh, uh, this can be done for biosensing and diagnostic applications as well coming to the enzyme engineering uh, there are multiple ways we can engineer the enzyme for desired functional characteristics improved specificity uh, higher thermal uh, stability uh, etc so tailoring the enzyme specificity Directed evolution enables the modification of enzymes for industrial applications such as the production of biofuels, pharmaceuticals or fine chemicals. By subjecting um, enzymes to directed evolution, their substrate specificity can be altered to plus non-natural substrate or to improve the efficiency with desired substrates. Directed evolution can uh, broaden the uh, substrate range of enzymes allowing them to process substrate that uh, that wouldn't have been possible uh, by the regular enzyme and this can be useful in various biotechnological applications coming to the protein therapeutics uh, improved stability and half life of uh, the enzyme can be done using directed evolution directed evolution can be used to enhance the stability and the half life of therapeutic proteins by introducing mutation that confer improved folding or resistance to degradation and this can lead to improved stability and higher shelf life shelf life or even the half life the targeted de drug delivery uh, is also another area for improvement that uh, directed evolution can be employed to engineer the protein that specifically bind to receptors on the target cells that enables the target drug delivery system and this approach increases the specificity and effectiveness of the drug delivery and reducing the side effects this has applications in biosensing and uh, diagnostics also so directed evolution can be utilized to create proteins with uh, high affinity and selectivity for specific disease markers and these engineered proteins can be employed in diagnostics as a to detect the presence of disease or to monitor the disease progression and uh, uh, this uh, directed evolution can also be used uh, as a biosensor to detect pollutants toxins and environmental contaminants and these biosensors can contribute to environment you know, monitoring and early warning systems so we have seen all the uh, good good things about the directed evolution are there any challenges uh, and what is the future perspectives like for the uh, protein engineering or the directed evolution based methods so what are the current challenges uh, and the limitations of uh, directed evolution and, uh, despite its uh, power directed evolution has uh, some inherent limitations the accessibility of uh, sequence space may be restricted due to the constraints of uh, genetic code or protein folding requirements uh, additionally the screening or selecting for certain protein classes such as membrane proteins or complex protein assemblies can be challenging so there are some challenges even though there are many um, good good things about the uh, directed evolution there are some inherent challenges and uh, for certain complex uh, uh, proteins it may be difficult but it can be overcome in the future to overcome these limitations the emerging techniques uh, are being developed and integrated with the directed evolution for example deep mutational screening allows the uh, simultaneous analysis of large number of mutations to understand their effects on uh, protein function computational protein design methods complement the directed evolution by providing insights into protein structure function function relationship and guiding the design of more focused libraries directed evolution continues to evolve itself and the researchers are applying this technique in emerging fields such as the synthetic biology personalized medicine to create a protein with tailor made functions and this application hold promise for addressing the complex challenges in healthcare biotechnology and beyond to wrap up uh, directed evolution has revolutionized the field of protein engineering by allowing us to navigate the vast landscape of protein diversity and uh, engineer proteins with uh, tailored functions so we have covered the fundamental principles methodologies and their applications so that concludes uh, today's topic and if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section thank you